What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the highlighter effect as if you're using a highlighter marker across dialogue in a book or a newspaper. Draw attention to specific words in a specific order with the highlighter. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So as you can see up here in the program monitor, I have this amazing poem that I just wrote and I want to have the effect as if I'm drawing a highlighter across, which will help you draw the audience's attention to follow along your specific words or certain facts you want to highlight. So it's very easy and I'll show you how. So first you want to start, you want to head down here to the toolbar, which is right here in the middle and right under the pen tool. If you click it, hold it down, you can go over and go down to the rectangle tool and what this is going to do, this is going to help you create a rectangle. I come up here to whichever sentence or word you're wanting to highlight and focus on. I'm just going to pick a random sentence or a fake sentence. Let that go. Now it's covered up the sentence entirely. And obviously black's not going to work because we want to have that kind of bright highlight contrast with the words. So come down here and just make sure that the actual graphic itself, the black bar is highlighted. Come up to the effects control panel and you're going to see the shape here that we just added. Drop down menu. We always want to change the color. So let's double click on here and we can actually make it, let's just make it a cliche kind of highlighter yellow. Now mind you, you can pick any color. You can make a blue, yellow, green, orange, whatever. I'm gonna click okay. So now it's obviously covering the words, so we don't want that. And you might think, oh, I'll just come down the opacity and drop the opacity. But the problem is that drops the opacity on the black lettering underneath also, which we don't want. So keep that at hundred. So let's just come down here to the video section and go to under right under opacity, you're gonna see blend mode right there and there's a drop down menu click the drop down menu and come down to where it says multiply and if you click multiply that's going to blend that yellow down and keep the black strong so now if we move we just have a nice highlighted effect so there's a couple different things if you don't want to have it look like you're dragging the highlighter across as you read say you want to just highlight line by line so someone can follow along with the story you can easily do that we come down to this shape that we have and you can multiply it. You can see you can copy or paste. So you head up here to the edit menu and you can do cut and copy here or there's the keyboard shortcut, which is command X or copy uh, command C. But what I like to do is hold down option on a Mac, click the item. And if you continue to hold option as you drag it over and then let go and then let go of option, you're gonna duplicate it. So let's just say we do that, we'll move that over. And let's see on the second one, we want it to be the line below. So all you need to do is click on this, make sure this, this is the graphic that's highlighted, come up and go to vector motion, which is right above it. And we're just gonna drop this down to the next line. So then that way, if you start over here, play, you highlight that, highlight that, and you can just move it at whatever pace or rate you want. But I'm gonna delete this. But the main one I wanna show you is come back to this first one if you click on the graphic, make sure it's highlighted because that's information that's going to be represented up here in the effect control panel. And let's head over here. We're going to go to effects in the project panel, the effects tab. And there's a little search bar here. Type in crop. So it's under the transform folder, crop, drag and drop it on there. So now we have that highlighted. Now we're going to come up here. We've added the cropped effect, which you can see right here. So we're going to scroll down here to the right hand side because we want it to come from this direction. So what we're going to do is make sure you're at the first of the clip, which we're right there on the front of the clip, and the right we're going to bring to 100%. So now you have that at 100% cropped out because we don't see it. Head to the left hand side, there's a stopwatch icon, which will say toggle animation. If you click on that, it's going to place a keyframe here. You'll notice right here, there's a little dot, there's a keyframe. Let's move the playhead further down in the graphic. Let's just say right about this time, we want it to be full yellow come back here, add one more animation, and then come over to the percentage because we now we don't want it to be cropped anymore. So let's bring it back to zero. And then you notice here, there's two keyframes we've dropped. So if we back it up and we play, obviously that's a little fast, so we can stretch this keyframe out to be a little bit slower. Let's try that. So there's that, it does kind of seem a little stiff. So what we can do is we can just kind of lasso both of these keyframes. And if we right mouse click on them, why they're both blue, where it says auto bezier, click that. So now you notice, you'll see a little circle here. They're not diamonds anymore, they're circle. It's a little softer of a movement. So now we're gonna play it again. So that's a little more softer and a little more smooth. 
and you can manipulate these to go as long as you want if you want to have a little bit longer so it's a slower build so we go back like this and you can do this for full sentences full paragraphs you can do this for individual words whatever you need just adjust the shape to whatever you need and then you have a nice little easy highlighting swipe and if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to the channel that being said have a great day later